My name is Aditya Malikani, and um, today, um, um, it's Mariam Miss Carney's birthday. So I thought I could do top ten mathematicians. So um, my name is Aditya Malikani, and like I said, and my email is gurvainsoida@gmail.com. I also have a Twitter handle, and you can see it right um in the in the top ten mathematicians. And I also have a website. And it, and if you like, you go on Twitter and you can like um. Say like you can follow me or just say it's good and try. And it feels metal. This is how the feel metal looks. It is awarded every four years to mathematicians under forty. It's like um like it's like like um good. The reason is um you need like do a huge mathematical problem like which is extremely hard to get solved. Then you only get the um feels metal. A number one, Terence Tao. So I was going to talk about like these um people who are the mathematicians. Number one, Terence Tao. Terence Tao, oh Terence Tao won the Fields Medal in two thousand and six, and he was twenty eight. He was young, so he's like it's actually pretty good for him and us. So, um, and his big thing he found was a pattern in prime numbers. He found a fixed dis distance trees. So example, for example, three seven eleven. You see that if you add four by it, it comes three plus four seven. Seven plus four equals eleven. So that's how it goes. And another example, eleven seventeen twenty three. Eleven plus six equals seventeen. Seventeen plus six equals twenty three. Most time it goes by six. You can't tell exactly. You just put a number like hundred. You can't tell exact which Um, when it came from, you have to get the past one. You have to reset the whole thing. That that is what turns out. Number two, Paul Erdos. Paul Erdos was born in Hungary. The reason I put also turns out in front and Paul Erdos together. The reason is Paul um Erdos. He met turns out when he was little, and he and he also got five hundred um bucks from turns. From Paul Erdos. Paul Erdos, like I said, was born in Hungary. There's actually one funny part of the Paul was born in Hungary. If if like Paul Erdos was born in Hungary, he'll be Paul Erdos was born Hungary. It's funny like that. And next, he was very famous for his work. He um proved the uh, Chebyshev theorem. There was always a prime number between n, that means any number, and n. And two n that means um you have to multiply that number by two. For example, n equals three, then two n equals six. The prime number between three and six is five. And another, for example, n is equal to five. Two n is equal to ten. The prime number between five and ten is seven. That is what um Paul Erdos did. Number three. A Pythagoras. I do not know really how to pronounce this. He lived a long time ago. He found a Pythagoras theorem. I not learned all the matri that much, so I'm not really sure about him. Number four, Maria Miss Carney. It's a birthday today, so that's why I did this. Maria was a woman mat mathematician. She won the Fields Medal in 2014, but sadly died in 2017. But she actually lived forever because of her work. Like she found like in the donut holes and stuff. Like she found like a like um just like ways in the donut holes, two donut holes, three donut holes. She researched on how the um ball would move in a billiard table, and she found it to be extremely good. So imagine, so she imagined um this like thing. It goes like this, this, and this. It like the billiard table keeps on going like this and this and this. And what she did with that was. It, it, the ball actually went straight. It actually never bounced. That's the good thing. That's like the cool thing about it. Number five, Oya. Oya lived in the 1700s. It's like a long time ago. Like even George Washington wasn't president. He got blind after 50 years. He found. He found. Euler constant, which two point seven one eight, 
His work was being used in Sudoku. So like this is the funny part. I want to add something out right now. So it is like the future. Okay, like 2000, let's see. Um, 2045. And either an oiler wasn't born. Hey, did you um ever notice um the the new sud the Sudoku game? Well, it was a long time ago, but if you play it, it's extremely fun. What Sudoku game? What are you even talking about? You from the past? You? No, I'm not. I'm never from the past. I'm right here. How can I be from the past? Because time 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 machine has already been invented. So you can be here from the past. But in the past, time machine wasn't invented. We could have got a duplicate and claim. Right. What? Okay, first of all, tell me what, tell me about the Sudoku thingy. Don't you remember, Euler, um, would, without Euler, there wouldn't be any Sudoku. He, he don't, he, they, they use his work for Sudoku, remember? Um, I, um, I think we should get to the doctor or something. So that's a, so what I'm trying to say is his work is being used in Sudoku. Number six, Ari Bahada. He lived 3,000 years ago. That's like, was a long, long time. His most best achievement was he was famous for finding five digits of the first five digits of pi, which is 3.1415. He had an understanding of zero. Zero is equal to zero. The reason is nothing is there, nothing. So if you're standing in a place where there's nothing, it's impossible to have nothing. The ground, it's nothing. Nothing is nothing. That's the understanding of zero. He said Earth revolves around its axis. He was able to accurately predict eclipse, lunar eclipse, and other things. Number seven, Ramanjun. He was born in Tanjur. He researched on pi, like, I, like what I said, 3.14159. He, he said he was the, um, people call him the man who knew infinity. So basically, um, infinity means if I have an apple, my dad taught me this, if I have an apple, if I keep on, 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 keep on cutting it, I'll just keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on cutting it. Like that's what the, that's what he knew, the, the, like, oh, what I'll call him is the man of infinity. Okay. Number eight, Goss. He was born in 1770. He found that pair lines can diverge on certain conditions. So, like, you just, like, so, let's see. So, um, I, use, I use a screwdriver and this. Right now, they're in the same distance. They're just going up, 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 up. Up, but what he found, and there's a law what that um that means that it can only like go up, 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 it can't diverge. But what he found out was that it did actually can diverge, it can diverge like this, but at a certain condition. Certain, remember that. Number nine, Euclid, he lived in 300 BC. He was. People call him the father of geometry. He didn't invent it, okay? I I um I don't um really know that much on geometry, so I is this is number ten. Alan Turing. He was born in the 1900s. The special thing was he broke the secret code of the enemy called Enigma. It's extremely hard. So my dad and me used we call you use the secret code. So uh, my name is Adityan. It's A A D H I T Y A N. So we skip we skip use three letters. A skipping three letters. It becomes D. So D D and so on and so on and blah blah blah. He tried to find what's A I. Now we all know it's A I. My dad works on it. My mom works on it. Like clearly, everybody has a job. Almost works on it. And he defined a Turing test. A Turing test is to know whether, um, like, so, um, if you like stand here and there's like someone, like someone over a robot, and you don't know who it is, 
And if you figure out who it is, the, the robot fail, fail the Turing test. But if you don't, the robot passes the Turing test. That's what I mean. He defined it. Uh, I, I want to thank um thank you um some people too um I want to thank my teacher Mr. Tom Morrison um he teaches me a lot he answered all my questions and so one of my questions was why is it not black and rainbow and I also want to um um thank my dad he 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 helped me on this project so, uh, even if it was my idea he still helped me a lot. And that's enough for, uh, and that's done for now. So now it's pretty much done. Bye.